Alison, are you ready for your your eleven, my dear? No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just being honest. <laughs> no, yes, I am. I was, say, I was, I was born ready. I was born ready. Of course, you were. <laughs> Right, okay, right, let's hope technology is on my side this, more, this afternoon. Sorry, right, here we go. I'm just gonna share my screen. Prime. Right, okay. Hopefully, can everybody see yes. my uh, my mug? Yeah, yeah, Ali Lawrence. Oh, yes. oh, thank you. So yeah, so hi everybody, yeah, Ali Lawrence from Three Orange Whips. So um, I was thinking when I sort of put myself forward for doing a presentation, I thought, well, I'm new to the tea, I'm new to the to the group, so probably it'd be nice to sort of uh, for you guys to sort of find out a bit about me and maybe just for me to share some embarrassing photographs. We all love embarrassing photographs. So obviously this is the picture that people would normally see of me, that my very good and talented friend uh, Sarah uh, took for me a couple of years ago. And I obviously use it a lot, but um, this is not the, the photographs I'll be sending you. So, so um, let me just go on to the next slide. Right. So hopefully you can see in a nutshell what I'm going to be covering. Yeah, uh, a bit about me and why I started throwing drips, and hopefully I can get through that in the next ten minutes. Great. Okay. Uh, oh, just to say as well, um, you guys are going to be a bit of a guinea pig for this for me. So um, it'd be lovely if you can give me some feedback. What I'll do is I'll probably send a link round later this week uh, for you to fill in a really quick anonymous survey, so you can be as brutal as you want. I love. Brutal cut feedback. Um, okay, so I thought um, what I would do is sort of pick out some key dates in my life and sort of talk around those and then show embarrassing photographs. So, okay, for the first key date, 1988. 4th of July, 1988, that was the day that I started work for the first time. I remember I was 15 years old, a couple of weeks away from my 16th birthday, and I had a very exciting job of starting in the typing pool at BT, then, then known as British Telecom. Um, it wasn't a job that I wanted, um, that's a whole other presentation, um, but basically 4th of July 1988, I started at uh, BT in the typing pool and instantly said to myself, right, well, I don't want to stay here, I want to basically uh, progress. So uh, I spent... 10 years at, my, at BT um, and um, interesting place to work um, and then basically was lucky enough to get promotions or well, I got promotions and uh, finally ended up working in the marketing team at, uh, at uh, BT and then something really big happened in, in uh, 1998 so 10 years later um, me and my husband, my husband uh, was offered um, a secondment to work overseas. So, uh, so 1990, oh, sorry, that was me on my first day of, school, of work. There you go, in my suit. Sorry, there you go, first embarrassing photograph, me and my mum. You can see this is the first time I've done this presentation. <laughs> okay, so fast forward to 10 years later, 1998. And yeah, so we get offered to go and live abroad and work abroad. So we then spent the next three years living in South Africa. Um, so my husband worked and as you're probably aware, the labor laws in uh, South Africa are, are pretty strict because it just has a you know, massive unemployment problem. So uh, for the first time in 10 years, I didn't do any work for three, I didn't work for three years, you know, so, um, which was lovely. I got a chance to actually uh, do some study. I did. I got a marketing qualification, and um, I also um, taught. I, I went on a course to, to learn about HTML, so about building websites. And I, hopefully, I can show you this. I found this this morning. Uh, it's not online, but it's. I can show it to you. This is the first ever website that I built, um, and it's quite. It's it's horrendous, but this is like year 2000 look at that <laughs> oh. basically what it was it was my way because it was before like zoom and whatsapp and skype and stuff so it was my way of keeping friends and family up to date so you can see i love the 
a little bit of a scroll technique there. You wouldn't get away with that on a website anymore. But uh, yeah, so that was my first ever website that I that I built um, for sort of sharing photographs and stuff with my family and friends. So, um, so yeah, so that was uh, South Africa, which was which was wonderful, and um, met some wonderful people. It broadened my horizons so much. It was amazing, um, and we spent three years there, um, and then. We uh, decided to come back and then, let's see, there you go, there you go, that's us again. Um, then we decided to come back. Um, bit of a few strange years, it was weird getting used to working again. It felt like I'd been off on maternity leave or something. I didn't know what it was like um, work being in the, in the market in the marketplace. But um, so we came back and then after a short while, I uh, got a job working at Microsoft. Um, and started there in a sort of admin role, uh, but then um, was able to then progress and move into a marketing role. So um, I worked on marketing for MSN and Bing, which nobody's ever heard of, but Bing basically is the Microsoft search engine, which tried but mostly failed to, <laughs> to be a competitor to Google. Um, but learned so much while I was working there and, that was where I got the you know got the confidence to sort of think about starting my um, my own business and with all the things that I'd learned over the past I'm guessing like 20 years by that point. Um, so uh, and then one thing and then um, then fast forward to 2011. This was a big year for me because uh, after five years um, I left Microsoft. Um, I didn't get my contract renewed, so I left Microsoft. So that was basically, that was the impetus for me to um, start my own uh, limited business. Um, so uh, obviously the important thing about um, uh, your business is um, what is what you're gonna call it. I didn't wanna call it like Alison Lawrence Limited or something like that. So um, I think at this point, Ruth, if you're okay to do this, this is where uh, I'd like you to put yes. up the poll. So basically, yeah. I'm just going to quickly play a very short video. So because when I was thinking about my business, I thought, well, I wanted something, a name that was meant something to me and maybe to other people, but it had no relation to what I would do. <laughs> so people wouldn't just know, you know, it wouldn't like pigeonhole me to one particular thing. So hopefully this, is, this bit of text going to work. I'm just going to play you this video and this will give you a clue as to why I called my business Three Orange Ribs. Let me know when you want me yep. to launch the poll. Perfect. Basically, this is going to play for about 15 seconds. And then if you can launch the poll then, and basically what it is, I just need you guys to guess what film this is from. Just a little bit of a bit of a interest. There you go. Can you hear this? No. No? I see, it, see it, but I can't hear it. Oh, OK. Shame. Shame. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, sorry Which about film? that. Basically, basically, what that was was a scene from a film, and the line was, "Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip, orange whip, three orange whips." So oh. the poll now is: you guys, uh, it's a multiple choice question. Can you guess what film this is from? Vote now. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> oh, I better, I, better, I better vote as well. Okay. Right. Have you, had a, have you got a result, Ruth? I've got 92% of people have voted. Oh, okay, yeah. So um, four people have said Uncle Buck, two okay. and more house and yep. six blues brothers oh yes so i put in uncle buck as a little bit of a sort of uh as a sort of a red herring because it's got john candy in it but yes uh, yes it was in fact let me just if i can go on to the next slide no oh, next one so it's gonna play it again isn't it <laughs> this is where technology's let me down here you go yes it was in fact the blues brothers so uh this was a film that um, was out in 1980. So I was eight when it came out. And I remember 
um, very much. Um, it was one of the first films I really enjoyed watching on a Betamax, I'm showing my age now, Betamax video recorder, um, and used to watch it. And it's pretty, I think probably now these days, it's, it's very, um, probably not right for an eight-year-old to watch really, to be honest. <laughs> But it's a great, it's a great film. It's a musical, but it's not a musical, and it's just. Um, but yeah, so I thought there you go, three orange whips. I have to admit, certain people do think it's a bit of a weird name, but I really like it. Some people, I have to explain it. It's not an S and M company. Um, it's nothing that interesting. Um, so yeah, so that was um, back in two thousand eleven. So, um, and then. For the last next few years after 2011, I spent sort of um, about five or six years um, working as a digital project manager in advertising agencies. So uh, working for, for clients as you know anywhere from Sainsbury's to Amazon, Nissan, Heineken. You know, just working on sort of big campaigns, anything to do with digital marketing you can think of. So web advertising, um, websites everything like that so um and I really enjoyed that and I got a chance to move around meet, meet lots of people worked at places like Huffington Post for a couple of years um Condé Nast which you know produces a lot of publications and uh, National Geographic which was the last place that I uh, I worked at so um then we just fast forward to 2019 so I'd been working in advertising commuting from my home in Epping into London, which if anybody else here knows, that's a, you know, commuting every day for like, you know, two, maybe three, sometimes three hours a day uh, can get quite, uh, can get quite tough. Um, so, um, and I, and I um, got to a point where I realised that um, I had to plan ahead. Um, I'd been uh, diagnosed many years ago with kidney disease and then basically in 2019 it had really come to a head and um, I knew that in the very near future I would uh, go on the kidney transplant list and uh, also had to start dialysis in the meantime. Um, so some big changes that were going to have to be made so I thought you know something um, I need to look after myself and you know I couldn't imagine having to commute to London working you know uh, long hours in advertising and then trying to fit in get into hospital appointments and things like that uh, and and also as well over the last couple of years you know um, can't do as much really basically I have to have naps and things like that so I thought well it makes sense to um, to change what I'm doing what I'm doing uh, to something that suits my physical and my mental health needs. Um, so um, I was working at National Geographic in, in the sort of the winter of 2019, and I was commuting all the way to Hammersmith, and it was like a three hours, and it was really tough. So I decided to leave. I sort of had a six month contract then. I left after three months. I left, and I thought, right, what, what am I going to do? Um, I started working with a coach to try and work out what I wanted. And um, basically I sort of come to the conclusion that these are the things that I wanted to try and achieve. So the key words here is the things like, what do I want to do? I want to do something that I enjoy doing because in my old job as a, in advertising, I liked most of it, but there's certain things about it I didn't find satisfying so I thought right it's really important that I enjoy what I'm doing um values is making sure that the people I work with have the same outlook and values as I do and things like that so things like uh fairness honesty flexibility things like that you know was really important to me because I think when you're working with people and you get a really good chemistry with them, you realise that you have shared interests and mindset and things like that. And it makes working with them so much more enjoyable. So I thought, okay, so that's things that I enjoy, shared values, um, something that was going to be good uh, and mean that I could look after my mental and physical health, which is great. Um, things that I'm good at, so that I, I know that 
any sort of service that I offer to people, I know that I could probably do, I'd hope do a better job than them, which is a good thing. This is what, which is what you want really, isn't it? Uh, and also that by working on something with somebody that I would hopefully learn something because I think that I'm the sort of person, I loved learning. So um, those are the things that I thought, okay, that's, uh, that's what I want to aim for. Um, so basically back in, so then in June 2019, um, I relaunched through on Twips with um, a whole new offering. So rather than working in-house as a project manager for hire, um, I then basically relaunched the, with my own uh, services. So hopefully, and you're probably not going to hear the music now, but I'll just play this quick video. Hopefully it summarises it. So yeah, so that basically was what I launched myself and that's basically the, the services that I now offer to people, things that I really enjoy doing and, um, and hopefully that I'm the, hopefully that I'm good at. How am I doing for time, Ruth? I haven't uh, I've checked. got uh, about half a minute left. Oh, okay, great. Well, uh, just to say, so basically fast forward to now to 2021. Let me just present that. Um, and um, just wanted to... Oops, let me just see that. So 2021. So this is basically my life at the moment. So this is me uh, doing my dialysis, which I do four times a day. And I work my dialysis around my life. Um, what else can I show you? This is a bit that I created uh, for myself and I've got it stuck on my pin board here in my in the spare bedroom where I work in my office. And it's just to remind me of all the things that are important to me. Um, which I quite like that as a little bit of a, a reminder. Um, what else have I got here? Things that I'm proud of. Uh, this is a couple of things that I've worked on. You may, uh, so some articles I've written uh, for my coach. Uh, here's an article that I wrote for um, Sue at Akura, the charity. So that was a article that I wrote for them. Uh, so hashtag enjoy writing. Um, here's some other things that I did. Uh, this was basically just, um, a video that I put together of, of a, a newsletter that I created for um, a community blog uh, happening in Hertfordshire that I uh, volunteer at. And finally, let's go on to the next one. I'm going to play that again. And then finally, um, by being able to sort of be based at home and have time and energy, it allows me to uh, get involved with a local uh, not for profit community cinema called Epic at the Movies. Um, and then basically um, I volunteer with them and um, over the last year or so have been running their, uh, their social media, which obviously has been the main th only thing we can do at the moment. We can, so I do check them out. I, I post on it every day with suggestions of uh, films, etc. So thank you very much. Thanks, thanks uh, for the extra time, Ruth. And uh, as I say, Pleasure. would love to hear what you think. It was a little bit uh, um, lastminute.com on my part. So, uh, but um, I always like to get feedback. So I'll ping something around. Thanks very much. Thank you. Oh, that was brilliant. Thank you. It's so nice to hear your story as well.